In this video, I'm going to be showing you the link between Risa 3D and Tecla. What we're going to be doing here, I'm going to show you a couple. We just released this version, and so we've got uh, Risa 3D version 15 is going to be transferring information over to Tecla structures, uh, version 2017, version 2016i, or version 2016. Um, so let me jump into a Tecla model and show you how this works. Uh, if we look at this is just a three-dimensional building structure model that I have here in Tecla and it's got some braces, columns, just kind of a, a simple building and if you're looking at this here at the top and once you've installed the Risa Tecla link you'll see a Risa uh, tag there at the top and then you can go to that ribbon and you click there and you'll see all the different options. Um, in other videos you'll find how do you transfer to Risa connection. We're going to be focusing directly on the Risa 3D model here and that links to our analysis and design model. So I'm going to click on that and I get a dialog that asks me to create an analysis and design model. So I'm just going to say create a new one. Uh, coming in here, everything is just set for this analysis model. The name you can change, but we'll keep it model name one. Uh, we can just say there will be no filters on this. You could use filtering if you needed to. Um, and then if you had a list of different app analysis applications, you would pick Risa 3D from that list. Uh, just say OK. And under the hood here, we can see that the program is creating an analytical model for us. So with that highlighted, you can zoom in and take a look at what this analytical model is. So if you're familiar with how that works, it's just sort of the center line stick frame that goes along with the, uh, the members here in this. Uh, each one of them have a member number, um, and that's going to be the analytical model. And that's what we're taking over to Risa 3D. So to do that, we push, uh, go back over to the screen here and we push the export button. And it's, we don't have any load combinations, so we don't have to, we can ignore that. This screen tells us that we should be a qualified engineer, which I am, so I can say OK. And it will jump in here and tell us to launch the application. If we didn't want to launch it and we wanted to send it to a colleague, we could just uncheck that and it would save it at the same location here in my C Risa folder. But I'm going to just let it uh, launch Risa 3D for us. Uh, if we had any loads, I did not include loads in this model, but if I did, it would go across. And then I can find a location to place this. So I'm just going to stick this here in this location and it's already defaulted to. If you had any members that were different than the members in Risa, you could go ahead and have use this mapping file. So the mapping file will allow you to find from the Tecla name what the Risa name would be, um, and that would help to translate those shapes into from one, mo one program to the other. So you can see, you can pull, you can check for a Tecla name. These are kind of Joyce names, and we could find similar Risa names. Uh, for that, so here we didn't really use any choice in this model, so we would really think more about things like uh, wide flange angles. Uh, really, where the difference might be coming in would be more of a double angle type shapes. Uh, you might find things like that. Single angles might be named differently. But I'm going to go ahead and jump right in and just say OK. Um, and I'm going to overwrite a file. It looks like I have a file with that name. That's OK. We overwrite that. And now it's launching Risa 3D in the background. So you can see it pops up in my screen. Risa 3D is launched automatically. And then there we go. We've got our entire model here in Risa 3D, right from Tecla. So everything, all the information on that member, all the, uh, the type of shape it is, um, it's coming in here with a TEK, just to indicate that's a Tecla node that was created. Um, and then at this point, I can do anything at this model I need to do. So I can add loads, I can run the analysis, I can check the design, um, and I've got all of my entire geometry set there. So the link can also go the other way. So let's open up a model here and see how we can send the model over the other direction. So this is just a Risa 3D model. I like to use this one because it's a different sh type of shape. It's a, more of a industrial frame than a building type frame. Um, so we can see this type of model can go directly over as well. Something you might want to be close attention to is in uh, Risa 3D, where you may not be uh, according to the way you model, but you want to make sure you take attention to whether it's a beam or a column or a brace. Um, that would be important as we go across. Uh, Tecla is going to look for that type of information to understand what type of shape that is. Um, other than that, it's just your typical model over in Risa 3D. 
Um, you can run loads on it, you can check design, look at results, and then what we're doing, all we'd have to do is just save this model. It's uh, called industrial example, and then we're going to go back over to Tecla. Now to do this model here, I'm just going to start the similar way. I just do a new model, and maybe we'll call this industrial example, just so we have the similar name, and we will just go ahead and uh, go and create a new file. The program asks me to create a three-dimensional view, and I can do that. And now, I'm going to just go into the A and D models, and just like I did before, I'm just going to say New, and it will have all the same default settings I had previously. Say OK, and now I can import. So instead of importing, uh, exporting, I'm going to be importing a RISA 3D model. Uh, this one here, so I'm going to browse to find that model I had. Uh, let's see, that model was saved under my two my desktop. So I'm going to go find that desktop location and I will find the exact model we had which was the example, uh, this industrial example model and then we can say OK and it's going to bring it across. There we go and behind the scenes I can see that just like before it's highlighting the analytical part of that model for us. I can close that and it will go to a more traditional type of Tecla model where we can see how this looks in uh, three dimensions. So we're seeing I did bring across those loads that those came across from Risa 3D directly into my Tecla model. Uh, but I can also see all the information about any one of these elements. Uh, my full three-dimensional model is here and ready to go in Tecla. Thank you for watching my presentation.